Hello everybody, it's Dan here and today we are going to look at the equipment I use to create realistic drawings. Now there's a lot of materials and equipment out there but you don't need all of it. In front of me here is all the equipment I use for when I draw and so first of all let me go through everything here. So for the paper that I draw on, I use Bristol board and it's a thick card that has a really smooth drawing surface. I really recommend using this stuff because you can apply a lot of pressure to it and it's not going to tear or bleed through onto the other side. You can use cartridge paper, I've used that before, but you don't want to use anything like printer paper or anything like that because it's not good quality for drawing on. So next up we have pencils and there are a lot of different brands out there. I've only ever used Faber-Castell or Derwent. They seem to be perfectly fine to use but you should get a full set of them so you have a range of different grids to work with. Pencil grids work like this. I mainly use maybe a, a 2H for sketching outlines and then a 2B onwards for drawing. For the darker areas I use something like a 7B. Now we have this mechanical pencil which is a Uniball Kurutoga. It's probably one of the best pieces of equipment I use. I actually used to create drawings only using this one pencil. Um, the leads I use in this are 2B 0.5mm Pentel leads. This is really useful in all areas of drawing. I'd definitely get a mechanical pencil even if it isn't this one. They are really convenient because you don't have to sharpen them or anything and you can be really accurate with it. Okay so next we have erasers and the main one I tend to use is this which is a Mono Zero eraser. It's good because you can be really accurate with what you erase and it's also useful for making highlights in the drawing. I also have a bigger eraser and I used to have a putty eraser but now I prefer just using these two things instead. Then we have blending stumps for blending areas of the drawing. You can get various sizes of these. Now it might be worth me mentioning this which is a white Posca pen. I don't use it often but it's useful for sometimes creating highlights and whiter areas in the drawing. And finally I use a ruler sometimes and a sharpener. Most of this stuff you might already have. Um, you don't need anything really expensive to create good drawings. It's how you use what is available. So that was a quick video showing everything I used to draw with. I tried to keep it simple. I'll most likely be using and talking about these things more in depth when we start drawing. I hope you found it useful, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.